The future of the space program is right here. It's a project called Orion, and in less than a decade, it will take us to places that we've previously only dreamed about. Three, two, one, and liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. This is the launch of NASA's next generation spacecraft that alongside new commercial operators will return America to the space race for the first time since the shuttle program. When the shuttle program ended, we lost our country's capability to launch astronauts from the surface of the Earth and to bring them back. So right now it's very important uh, to, to reestablish that current capability. Program administrators say plans for Orion are substantial, what it calls deep space exploration. First stop is the moon, but they also want to travel to asteroids and eventually make the 140 million mile journey to Mars. We will build up to Mars, and, and when we actually travel to Mars, there will be additional elements for humans to live and work on the, on the journey to and from the planet. How far are we away from that? A long time? I, well, it's not quite as close as I would like, but I think, it's, I think we should see it in the 2030s. Like the shuttle, Orion was built from the ground up. It has a completely new rocket launch system that will propel it up to speeds of up to 20,000 miles per hour. But if you think something about it looks a little familiar, you'd be right. So it's a throwback a little bit, right? In, in, that, in that way it is, yes. When we studied again the kinds of missions we wanted to do and what would be the best shape, we found that the Apollo engineers did their homework, and, and the shape they picked was the right shape for these sorts of missions. Those looks are about where Orion's similarities begin and end. Step inside, and it's a completely different beast, designed for completely new generations. This is the inside of the Orion spacecraft. Wow. You are now in the Orion commander seat. This is awesome. There's a lot going on up here. This is like three iPads on steroids. We're sitting on our backs because we're getting ready to launch. Okay. And uh, one everything of is controlled from here. Every it's... every every aspect of the spacecraft can be operated from okay. here. In, in Apollo, for example, every surface was covered with switches. Right. And here, most of the the crew's interaction with the spacecraft is via these uh, computer screens. Yeah. Here. Still a lot of switches. Yeah. The switches we put for for backup capability. Okay. If, if anything happened to our computer system. And our computer system is very reliable and fault tolerant. We have multiple copies. Uh, these switches provide direct uh, input to safety critical systems. NASA says Orion's fitted out with all the creature comforts astronauts might need and have grown to expect. We have a term called the net habitable volume. It's how much space that the astronauts each have to live and work in space. And in fact, the habitable volume per person on this spacecraft is equivalent to what the, what the astronauts had on the space shuttle, which by all standards was the Cadillac, if you will, of, of, of space launch vehicles. Cadillac of space launch vehicles or not, engineers also have some other creative ways to let astronauts get around. The Orion for exploration missions will hold at least four crew members and they'll, they will be in these seats for launching and landing. But as soon as we get on orbit, the seats will actually fold up and can be stowed away, and, and the crew then gains oh, all of this all volume. This space, yeah. All this space. NASA first launched Orion test missions in December 2014, and they say so far so good. But Orion's journey is a long and dangerous one. It must withstand radiation and heat up to 4,000 degrees on reentry. Environments harsher than virtually anything ever encountered by the space program. Our heat shield is, first of all, it's the largest uh, monolithic heat shield that we've ever built for a human-rated spacecraft that has to come back from this kind of reentry velocities. We're actually breaking that monolithic structure into what we call blocks. So you, the blocks will have more flexibility and provide more structural capability, if you will. That's interesting. The blocks will be less vulnerable? Yes, yes, we expect, yeah, we expect the blocks to be less vulnerable to these mechanical stresses and strains that the heat shield experiences. NASA will run additional tests on Orion in 2018. They plan to send it on an unmanned 20-day mission around the moon. But as for its first manned mission, well, they say that's already running ahead of schedule. Initially, NASA committed to a 2023 date of putting people on Orion. But internally, you're working towards 2021. How viable is that? Yes. My schedule is to launch humans in 2021. 
there was margin added to it. So the, the April 2023 date is a very conservative date and covers a number of contingencies. I get it. This is like the pad in an airline schedule, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Meaning that next giant leap for mankind might just be closer than you think.